So there's one thing that annoys the enemy more than anything. And that's when the enemy is in the presence of truth. See, the enemy can't stand truth. It makes him squirm. And if you remember the scriptures, Christ, Yeshua, is a, he's a walking billboard of truth. And wherever he went, he started agitating people just because of truth. That enemy can't stand truth. He's the father of lies. And so whenever he's in the presence of truth, there's some tactics he begins to show and display. There's a principality he will throw at that person. And let me show you some of the characteristics that you will see whenever you are operating in truth. <clears throat> the first thing they'll start doing is they'll start arguing with you. The arguing is to discredit what you're saying. The next thing they'll do is then they'll start um, gaslighting you. The gaslighting is to make you think you're crazy. Make you think you don't know what you're talking about. You, you're crazy. Something wrong with you. Oh, no, it's not that. Da, 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 da. Then they come in with deflecting. The deflecting is to get you to go off of the truth and pay attention to something else. It's like a like a magician's trick. Get you off of the truth so you pay attention to something else. And by the time they're finished with you, you, you kind of like done forgot what you were talking about. But that's a tactic. And so you got to be wise to know when you're in the atmosphere of someone that has a principality that has just entered into the, them to come against you. And this is how the enemy is operating so keenly in the end times. This is what he did. So the enemy knew that he couldn't just come and bum rush the people of the Most High with the mark of the beast. He knew he couldn't do that. He's like, oh no, they're, they're, they're going to be too keen. They're going to be, they're going to be on that. They got discernment. So what I need to do is I need to go and shut down their discernment. I need to go and shut down how they hear from the most high. So how did they do that? It's called the precursor. It's called like an appetizer to the main course. So they came in with the whole COVID scene and the whole boosters and the vaccination and this, that, and the other. But when you don't understand and recognize what's in that whole situation and realize what its point was, its point was to shut your discernment down. Holy Spirit gave me this the other day. Shut your discernment down so you can't recognize the truth. So you can't see and hear when you're being beguiled. So that whole situation was to shut your VMAT2 gene down. So you're not recognizing the truth. So that you're actually, whenever the truth is being presented to you, you're actually using those traits that I spoke about. You start arguing with people. You start gaslighting people. You start deflecting. So you're making people think that they don't know what they're talking about. But it's all a ploy. It's all a plot and a scheme to get you to the mark of the beast. Because the enemy knew that he could not just come in with all the people of the Most High and their discernment and just present the mark of the beast to you. Yeah, that's the whole plan. You're talking about the master of lies. You're talking about the master of deception. You're not going to realize when you're being beguiled. That's how he operates. That's how he moves. That's why so many of the people of the Most High fell for it the first time. He was shutting down your discernment. So this is what we're up against. We're up against the spirit of Jezebel. Whenever we try to tell you the truth, whenever we try to speak the truth into you, the enemy will send that principality into you 
to come against us so that you're not hearing the truth, that you don't recognize the truth, but you're believing a lie. But the word says, those who don't seek truth, I will send them a strong delusion. It's all a game. It's all a game to get you to lower your defenses so that when he scoops in with the mark of the beast, you're going to take it with no problem. You're not even going to recognize that you're being beguiled by the enemy. Y'all, stay prayed up. Pray, repent, and seek truth. Because we're recognizing who has and has not taken this precursor by how you're responding to us who is bringing the truth. Y'all take care, be blessed, and seek truth. Take care, bye now.